Hello everyone, I'm James Marriott, the guy who talks about other people for a living. Subscribe or next week I might talk about you. Today's subject is somewhat of a channel favourite. A girl boss of sorts, given that she has consistently paid my rent over the last couple years. Yes, that's right, today we are once again focusing on La Reina Latina, Lele Pons. Around a year ago, I watched Lele Pons' YouTube premium show, The Secret Life of Lele Pons. It's the kind of name you'd give to a Pablo Escobar documentary. Except this time, instead of peddling cocaine, she's peddling copain. I wasn't the biggest fan of the show, but I am known to be a bit of a pessimist when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's somewhat my job. But clearly the overlords at Netflix decided that Lele was worth a shot because Lele Pons has a Netflix show episode. She has an episode of a Netflix show for now. But this still feels monumentous to me because realistically any dickhead with a DSLR and a dog can get a YouTube premium show. But this feels like Lele's Lily Singh moment. Not that she'd probably want me to make that comparison. Some of you may remember that just over a year ago I made a video on Paris Hilton's YouTube channel. She made cooking videos and once again, like a windmill, I wasn't the biggest fan. But maybe my antithesis or my shadow form works at Netflix because they gave her an entire Netflix show. Of course they did. Some of the episodes have insane guests. We're talking Kim Kardashian West, or as she's known in the kitchen, Kim Kardashian Yeast. She's also known by that name in one other location, but I digress. Demi Lovato, uh, Sawiti. I think I know who that is. And let's just forget about the other guests. The rest of the world already did. On the penultimate episode, we have Lele Pons, our queen. Brining and stuffing a traditional turkey sounds beyond disgusting. Great ad for the episode this. Learn how to cook abhorrent food with me. This is going to be fucking gross. Anyway, let's sink our teeth into it because if I don't, no one will. Quickly though, do you know how difficult it is to take screenshots and screen recordings from Netflix? I did find a workaround in the end, but when you initially try to screenshot or record Netflix, it just shows this black screen. I fear that this screen will be more exhilarating than the show itself. It's almost as if Netflix doesn't want me to make this derisory commentary video on their latest high budget special. Well, fuck you. You Netflix CEO Reed Hastings because I'm doing it anyway. Reed Hastings, more like my cock, needs tasting because I'm a big fucking virgin. Please don't take down my video, Reed. I'm really just trying to make an honest living. So the show begins with Paris off to pick up some groceries. A complete farce. I doubt Paris even shits for herself at this point. I was going to make a joke about her face mask, but admittedly it is a vibe. And beyond that, I'm not going to attack the empaths among you lot that still wear masks. It's a win-win. We can protect each other and I don't have to see your faces. Hold the phone. Is that fucking Christmas music? Just making sure I'm not having some kind of seizure. Look, lockdown messed up my concept of time as well, but we're only halfway through the year, Paris. This show was released in August. You know, the month we're currently in. The month that is four months away from Christmas. And a Christmas special on the Lele Pons episode as well? Why don't you just make empanadas or something? The beginning of the episode is rather odd. Paris goes to pick up a turkey that she's pre-ordered. Not sure why you'd need to pre-order a turkey in fucking August. There's hardly an immense demand for the thing. She then feels ill at the very sight of the deceased bird and runs away like she's in a horror film. No. Oh! Just you wait, Paris. Lele hasn't even entered the frame yet. I have a few go-to dishes. Living nachos, cello shots. Lasagna. Oh god, that's giving me PTSD. Pasta that should decompose. I get that people watch this for entertainment and not for actual cooking advice. Right? You don't sincerely follow these recipes and expect anything other than a one-way ticket to A&E. We have presents and a big tree and our traditional roasted turkey. Yo, I don't know if I'm down bad or what, but that turkey? <laughs> Sheesh! He's giving me all sorts of feelings right now. I see it's missing some stuffing. God, I hope Arya isn't watching this. So my holiday dinner will include insanely funny and gorgeous YouTube superstar Lele Pons so she can help me laugh my way through the cooking. Hold on, you've brought Lele Pons, YouTube superstar, on your show to laugh. And I think Paris got the memo, guys. Lele Pons hasn't made a regular YouTube video in over a year. Why do you think people don't make videos about her anymore? Don't get it twisted. Lele Pons is a musician. Whatever you think about her music, it does incredibly well. One of her songs has over 350 million views on YouTube in less than a year. So why is she hopping on screen with this clown energy? I don't even know if I could call it clown energy because that most certainly ain't it. You've got 5 million monthly listeners on Spotify. You don't need to be random anymore. No one is asking you to do this. We've moved on from XD and YOLO. Now we don't even want to live once. We all want to die. We'll be making my go-to. Cheesy mac and cheese. Oh good, I've never known how to cook that dish. This one's a long-awaited tutorial for me. And what an adjective. Cheesy mac and cheese. Can I please have your most icy iced coffee? And who would I be to turn down a sliced slice of chocolatey chocolate roulade? I'm ordering in some sides. Wait, what? 
cheating. I didn't delete Deliveroo to have this dreadful habit reinforced into my brain, Netflix. And I'm not lying, I didn't delete my Deliveroo app. I actually ordered this through Deliveroo. I'm very much still heading to an early grave, but a tasty one. Mm. Lele Pons doesn't appear until a third of the way through the episode. And that's because filming actually began the day before so Paris could brine the turkey. Wash the turkey off. Tap water works too, does it? <laughs> Peasants. Imagine putting something in a sink. You know, one of those bowls with a tap on it that releases H2O water, agua fresca, and then reaching beyond that tap to grab a bottle of water. Maybe the microplastics were the missing ingredient all along. And it's even worse when you realize that companies in the US can get away with bottling tap water. You can't in the UK. We only drink from natural sources. Springs, mountain rivers. Breasts. So what Paris has essentially done here is reach beyond a tap to pick up a bottle of something that she's paid someone else to release a tap for. And you believe that she gets her own groceries. Uh, I feel like I'm massaging like some fat, hairy, gross guy. Wait, why is the camera cut to me? The next day, Paris stuffs the turkey with very special guest Lele Pons. She's looking a little different today. I don't know how much that is. That's a whole Sorry, fucking yes, Paris. Are we even here for Lele Pons anymore? This is the representation that I have needed in the mainstream media. I would say that she should know what a cup measurement is, but given the water fiasco earlier, I don't think she realizes that you can contain liquid outside of a bottle. And then they cook the turkey. Where is Lele Pons? I thought they were just preparing the turkey to cook it later. At least have Lele Ponera that damn thing in the oven. Sorry, <laughs> little Spanish pun there. Only a few of you will get that one. And even fewer will find it funny. Here here comes YouTube sensation Lale Pons. Everyone, a standing ovation. It's only taken us 17 hours. Wait. What is this Met Gala? Oh, you could tell she had that line prepared. Did she not get the memo that this is a Christmas party? In August? That's gotta be the biggest red flag when entering into a friendship with someone. A Christmas party in August? That red flag is so massive that Paris turned it into a fucking dress. She's a hilarious influencer, actress, singer, and my friend. Come on, you can't do a dirty like this. How are you putting singer at third in that list? Making YouTube videos is like being branded with a hot iron. Her again, and then obviously like, you had like the best parties before COVID and- uh... You see that little look to the camera there? Parties before COVID, uh, before pandemic, you know, before we had to stay inside. Oh, <laughs> sorry, not a cough, not COVID. I don't have COVID, never broke the rules. Are you serious? Wait, so, so you're making me do today the hardest thing you can do in a kitchen. Uh, 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 let me stop you right there, Mrs. Pons. You won't be doing anything today. The title of this episode, the roast, already done. That's in the oven. I guess you can order the sides. Oh wait, cheesy mac and cheese. How could I forget? That's so forgetful of me. Now what then? Cookies? Cookies too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made those yesterday and we're gonna decorate them. Okay, no, we don't get to bake those either. The audience didn't even see those getting cooked, let alone the star guest. Don't worry guys, we get to watch Lele Pons fluff Paris's dress. Girl boss move from Paris there. I don't think Lele Pons has gotten that close to touching the floor with her hands in years. Then there's this really sad moment which highlights a lot of what is wrong with social media. Lele and Paris obviously have no need to cook anything, so they discuss childbirth. Turkey clearly wasn't the only thing getting stuffed this Christmas. Christmas or August. When I, was, I did IVF, so you could pick boys, girls, and, and then you can you make like, cause I don't want him face. to have my nose. First of all, I feel sorry for Lele. I definitely have issues with my appearance. I imagine a lot of you watching this at home feel the same way. About your own appearances, not mine. No need to make some sly comment about one of my eyes opening up more than the other. But to say that your kids can't have your nose, that you'd want to change that before giving birth to them. Imagine your opinion evolving over time and you decide that you do want to have kids one day. Oh look, mummy Pons is on the TV. Sophia, we should have spread you over this turkey because quite frankly, you're fucking butters. Mom, why did you say that to Sophia? Jose, if you walked into a wall with an erection, you'd break your nose. You ugly bastards. Go make some YouTube videos. Get a nose job. There is perfection and imperfection. I hated my nose for the longest time. I used to hate any kind of profile shot because my nose really points out at the end. But then I realized that the only person's opinion on your appearance that should matter is your own. And if another person has an opinion on your appearance, then they don't matter. That being said, if you want to get a nose job, get a nose job. I don't think I'll be going bold without a fight. Just don't project your own physical insecurities onto your family, even if they don't exist yet. How to make easy cheesy mac and cheese. Another adjective, no! Easy cheesy mac and cheese. I mac the easy cheesy mac and cheese with easy ease and cheesy cheese. Buy a fucking dictionary. There are so many words out there desperate to be used.
Well, clearly Lele is impressed. Maybe I should back off. There is something truly mind-blowing about boiling water and putting pasta inside of it. Just wait until she finds out that you can get water from a tap. They then go to add the cheese sauce to the pasta. Open the vagina. Thanks for that, Lele. Oh my God, so cheesy. It's so cheesy. A dictionary. Again, please, anybody, a dictionary. So how would you describe this cheesy mac and cheese? Mm, uh, yeah, oh, let me think that's... Mm. There's the cheese. Of course there is. So I guess I'd describe it as a... Um, Shit. They glitz up the pasta with a load of designer labels. I'm sure they have the rights for that. And Lele presents the dish. Macaroni and cheese. Can we quickly clarify that this is not a dish from a Spanish-speaking country? You can't just reclaim any word that looks Spanish and say it in a Spanish accent. Oh my god, a fucking crocodile! Hey, no te preocupes. That is no crocodile, friend. That is an alligator. Amazing. This is so pretty. What? How does that work? Why do you like how it looks now? Why should a turkey have to meet your unrealistic beauty standards? You didn't like him when he was bold, did you? Sorry, this triggers me more than most. I once dated someone who didn't think I was attractive unless I had a beard. No idea why someone would ever think that. They then decorate the pre-made cookies and the, uh, the turkey. Look, I don't know. I'm clearly distanced from how the other side live, but that looks fucking abysmal. This may be a bit problematic of me, but I like my birds natural. No dressings, no makeup, no stuffing yet. As the good Lord intended. Wow. Oh my God. Sweet fucking Christ, there's sprinkling glitter on it. They're beyond saving, lads. They've made the meat sparkle. That sounds like a euphemism. Imagine being that turkey. God, I hope he was free range. What if he spent his entire life in a battery farm only to be defaced before consumption? This looks amazing. This is going too far, man. Sparklers? It's already dead. You've cooked the thing. You don't need to light it on fire. Also, notice how they've added more sprinkles off camera. I hope both of you are turkeys in your next life and some sick fucker does this to you. Is that Gucci mac and cheese? Yes. It's yes. sold out everywhere. It's sold out everywhere. I feel like we're reaching the climax of a limbo competition because the bar really is getting close to the floor. Hey, is that designer pasta? People bought it. <laughs> Do you get it? Because people buy Gucci. <laughs> hey guys, how many comedians does it take to cut a turkey? No, seriously, that's a query of mine because there's no comedians here to cut this one. This year, I overcame my fear of raw turkey. You just have to make it yours. Wait. That's the moral of this? You can still be scared of raw turkey all you want. I have a fantastic fix for that. Cook the turkey. Raw turkey become not raw turkey. Amazing, right? I should get paid for this. And then the show ends with the dogs eating from the table. I would make a joke about it, but that dog has probably eaten more hot meals than all of us combined. But all jokes aside, I don't think that Lele did too bad. It's not seeing influencers get more and more opportunities like this. And to be honest, I'm excited to see if Lele's gonna get her own show. If anything, please do. I could use the ad revenue. Reed Hastings, just ignore what I said earlier about you being a big virgin. And on that rather optimistic bombshell, I've been James Marriott. Subscribe.